Hi, I'm Sean Rowland from the Research Councils UK Global Challenges Research Fund team and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the key principles that underpin Global Challenges Research Fund. So there are four key principles in total, the first of which is a challenge and impact focus. And here what we're really looking to do is generate excellent and novel research which can really have an impact in those DAC list countries that we're focusing on. And we're also looking to deliver sustainable programmes which will have legacy beyond the initial investment made by RCUK. The second key principle is around interdisciplinary research excellence. So the GCRF more broadly covers both disciplinary and interdisciplinary approaches but particularly under the collective fund aspect of GCRF, the focus is very much more on interdisciplinary approaches. And this requires a capacity to think across between as well as within these sustainable development goals, framing GCRF as a whole. And is really looking to assemble the key knowledge and expertise from different perspectives and viewpoints in order to unlock the potential to deliver significant impact against development challenges. So in terms of how to achieve good interdisciplinary working, there are a few key elements that are important to consider. Firstly, it's really important to identify the right mix of disciplines, where there's a good understanding of how these disciplines will contribute to addressing the challenge and that they all add value to delivering programmes. The co-creation and development of a common vision between these disciplines is really key in defining a joint approach and setting up positive leadership within this group of disciplines. It's also very important to identify upfront how you will deal with any disagreements or conflicts between individuals and disciplines, as well as within the lifetime of these programmes more generally. The third key principle is around global partnerships, and this has a really important role to play in all ODA programmes. Again, the element of co-development and co-design with these partners is crucial. And you need to be able to develop and evidence substantial, genuine and meaningful collaborations and engagement with full consideration of the context in which the challenge you've identified exists. Just to give you a bit of insight, through year one of the Global Challenges Research Fund, this map shows the distribution of investments that have been made. And one interesting aspect to consider is the shift away from countries such as India and China, whereby there have been long-term partnerships and collaborations, to new emerging areas of collaboration and partnership, such as Kenya and South Africa. The equity in these partnerships is really important in aiding to identify research gaps and needs to help facilitate that co-creation of the key questions and outcomes that are sought and to help generate impacts which will really make a difference on the ground, which includes elements relating to building research capacity. As well as academic partners, it's also important to think about the potential role of non-research organisations in GCRF programmes, particularly useful in terms of identifying needs, testing potential impacts and ensuring that there are real-world implementations for the solutions that you're developing. The fourth key principle is around organisation and leadership which is increasingly important, particularly with large-scale and very complex programmes. And under this, it's really key that there are shared values and goals that underpin that strong research and operational leadership and management. Appropriate and effective monitoring and evaluation is important, not just at key time points such as stage gating or at the end of programmes, but as a continual process that goes on during the lifetime of programmes. And this should underpin an ability to adapt, learn and evolve over time. Thank you for listening. So if you'd like more information about the background and strategy for GCRF, or the Hubs call in particular, please check out the other videos. 
Alternatively, if you'd like to know more about GCRF in general and the other activities that are going on, please check out our website for more information.